Yo, what is going on guys? Starks are back with another video for you guys today. I know I'm kind of late on this. I was at school all afternoon and all morning, so I didn't have a chance to make this video right when it happened. I, I, I witnessed it break on Reddit and it, it blew up super quickly and I was like, fuck, I wish I was at home right now to record this video, but I was at school all day, I had finals and stuff like that. So, came home, still super hyped about it, so I, I decided, you know, I'm going to make a video anyways, fuck it. I know you guys have already <laughs> probably heard the news, but I'm going to let you all know just in case you haven't heard, because I'm your boy, I got your back. Alright, so Laura Kate Dale, yo, she is doing fucking God's work. Actually, you know, before, before we get into that... Before we get into that, the meat and potatoes, I, I want to talk about something else. There was something else that not a lot of people are talking about right now. Something that can get swept under the rug really easily if you, if you ain't paying attention. Because today's been kind of a crazy day, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? So if you go on Nintendo's uh, website, you can now actually make a kid's account for your My Nintendo, which is kind of weird. Normally, whenever you make an account on Nintendo, like on a My Nintendo account, it's usually just, you know, it's it's just for a person. It, it, they never differentiate whether it's an adult or if it's for a child. They never really do that, which is pretty strange. So what I'm thinking, this could possibly be an indication that Nintendo was going to be separating kids from adults in terms of like online infrastructure they they, they I, i'm thinking what they're gonna do with this right possibly they could separate kids from the online they could they could have a kids section to where there's no voice chat you know parents don't have to worry about them talking to strangers you know there's no instant messaging for them they can only do basic features that you know pretty much what we could do on the wii u and nothing more but the adult accounts could have you know the instant messaging the voice chat the party invites and all the extra stuff that you you know that you know hardcore adult gamers that game on nintendo platforms have been clamoring for ever since the wii u fucking came up we never got that so that's what i'm thinking that's going to be happening with this thing that would be really good that would be a really smart idea from nintendo to just separate it you know if, if you really want to protect the kids give the parents the option to do so but don't don't ruin our experience just because you want to protect the kids okay you're not their parents you can give the parents the tools to protect their kids but you don't have to hinder our experience you don't have to ruin our online experience just for the sake of oh i don't want little johnny to be called a faggot online you know what i'm saying that's, that's fucking stupid okay so on to the big news for today yo dark souls 3 is running on the switch now i remember back to when the wii u i think it either just came out or just about to come out they had uh ea i remember someone from ea was like oh yeah we have uh crisis 3 running on the wii u but we just don't know if we're gonna release it or not and they turn out to never come and i remember also uh grand theft auto 5 they they potentially i don't know if this was a rumor or a leak or i can't even remember it was so long ago they remember they had Grand Theft Auto 5 running on the uh, on the Nintendo Wii U, but they never released the game. So I don't know. I mean, it's kind of. I think it, I definitely could see this game running on, on the Switch. I don't really see why it wouldn't. Guys, this is this is if this is true, right? It's not com it's not confirmed or anything. It's, it's it's just a rumor for now. But if this is true, this would be amazing. This would this would show people Nintendo is serious. They are serious about these third party games. They are serious about getting games like this on their system. And the fact that it can run Dark Souls three, Dark Souls three, look, it's it's not, it's not, it's not groundbreaking. It it doesn't it doesn't shatter you know the graphical atmosphere or anything like that. But it's a pretty damn good looking game. It's a pretty big and expansive third party game. This isn't something that you can just put on whatever system you feel like. It. The system's got to have some kind of power behind it for in order to run a game like this. So the fact that this game most likely is running on the switch right now and they're waiting for you know a trilogy to race which, which totally makes sense that would be an, that that them bioware making a like a, a collection of dark souls one two and three with all the dlc packaged in for like a game of the year edition or legacy edition or something like that that makes total sense you know how many people would go out and buy that shit tons of people would go out lots of people didn't play you know the first two or the, or the last one or lots of people didn't play all the dark souls games and so this would be their amazing opportunity to do it what they're saying is that this is probably going to be coming this collection is probably going to be coming to the playstation 4 xbox one pc and they are thinking about bringing it to the switch because they know that audience could potentially be there you know and that would be great for the nintendo fans instead of just giving us one of the the games in the franchise why not give us all of them and on top of giving us all of them give us all the dlc because i remember when mass effect 3 came over to the wii u what came out right next to the i think it was a ps3 or was it the ps4 it was the mass effect collection and we didn't get that and it was it was terrible we had to pay full price for one game while ps4 3 or and 360 players got to pay regular price for three games on top of all the dlc so it, it, we felt ripped off they're not doing that this time they're going to give us 
what we deserve, which is all three games with all the DLC, they're not gimping us. They're not saying, you know what, you guys are lesser humans, so we're going to give you a shittier deal by giving you Dark Souls 3 for 60 bucks, while PS4 and Xbox One owners get, you know, Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 with all the DLC for the, sec for, you know, for the exact same price. That would be terrible. I mean... I would want to buy it, but I, I would just feel really jibbed if they were to do something like that, like like EA did with Mass Effect 3. That would be that'd be kind of a slap in the face, you know what I mean? All right, on to the next piece of news. Laura Kate Dale again coming back at it again with another huge bombshell today, talking about the Nintendo Switch dock will increase the performance. However, it won't be via, via uh, extra hardware, like a supplemented computing device, which Nintendo, I believe, they, they patented that this, I think it was this, like, the second half of this year? Maybe it was a little earlier, I don't know. But I do know that they had a patent for like a, a separate device, kind of like what Alienware has. They have like a, for their laptops, they have like a, an external GP that you can hook up to your laptop to boost the performance of it. It's something sort of like that, but for a home console, which is a really good idea in my opinion. It's really good for longevity. It's really good to uh, future proofing your console. Really smart idea. So I, I thought that's what Nintendo would be doing like another year and a half, two and a half years down the road with the Switch you know, break out this box that says, hey, you can upgrade your system without having to buy a whole new system. It's, you know, you pay 100, 150 bucks for this, you know, uh, supplementing computing device and all your games would look better. They could run in 4K. They could, they could kind of do with, 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 with uh, what Sony is with the PS Pro, but, you know, for half the cost. But it's looking like it's not really going to be the case with the Switch dock. They're, the Switch dock, Previously, we assumed that it was just nothing more than a glorified HDMI cable, you know, in, in a charging dock for for the for the handheld. But apparently, according to this report by, from Laura K. Dale, when the system is connected connected to the dock uh, by USB C, the system's com the system's components will run at a higher clock speed to facilitate the 1080p resolution on the TV. Both video and power will be transferred over to the USB C when docked. Plug the system into the dock. Will plugging the system into the dock will also activate a small additional fan to help with cooling when when run at higher clock speeds. This fan is in the rear of the dock. That kind of does, that kind of makes sense because that I remember Super Metal Super Metal Day made a video about this small like gaping hole in the back of the Switch uh, dock, and he was thinking that was probably going to be for the supplementing computing device. But I must that would make a lot more sense that that's where the you know the extra fan would be whenever you hook it up to uh, to the to the to the handheld unit so that definitely makes sense this this sounds pretty good i mean i would i don't see why nintendo wouldn't do it in my last video i said i remember saying that i feel like if nintendo if if the dock were to actually boost the power of the system nintendo would just come out and say it but I, at the same time, I feel like they were purposely trying to avoid the question saying no it doesn't really boost the power of the system instead it overclocked it i guess technically that's not exactly the same thing i suppose you know nintendo likes to mince words and, and they like to get around questions and, and, and get the answer that they want you to hear regardless of if it's you know <laughs> clear cut what you're asking for so this is pretty cool if this is true then this system might be a, a bit more powerful than a lot of people are assuming a lot of people are speculating you know we're on an xbox one level of power but we have been hearing a lot more rumors lately that it's actually going to be around the ps4 level of power but not quite the ps4 pro I wouldn't mind that. I, I could definitely see it happening. This is nothing but good news. Like, there's just so much good news about the system, guys. It's crazy. It's fucking insane. I'm so excited. I can't believe it. We're we're a month, a little bit, or just a, just over a month away from finally seeing this system and finally getting this huge blowout of games. There's so many great games being rumored and so many games developers talking about making games for the system. It's just it's so much good news, guys. This is looking fantastic i think this this system is going to be a nintendo i think they finally finally learned their lesson i think they're finally going to take things a bit more seriously i think they're finally going to start giving the fans us what we want instead of just trying to shoehorn and force us to take whatever it is that they're planning on giving us you know what i'm saying so this is great news let me know what you guys think about all this down below do you guys think this is true do you think a dark souls you know one two and three collection could become I mean, look at this game it's fucking dope I would definitely pick this, this game up on the Switch. That would, this, this would be an amazing game to play on long train rides, plane rides, fucking bus rides to school, you name it. This would be great. So let me know what you guys think about all this information down below in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.